Tierra here with Gypsy Fae Creations. Thanks so much for tuning in and welcome. It is time to start all of the autumn soaps and September is literally right around the corner and I get so excited because fall is September 1st to me. That is when I start going all out. My favorite time of the year is fall and September is my favorite month of them all. Why? <laughs> One, because fall starts, two, we have our wedding anniversary, and three, it is my birthday. Which brings me to the September shop update. It's going to be on September 27th, my birthday. I thought, hey, why not? Let's celebrate with a soap release. So that's all the soaps you see up until then. September 27th will come out on that day. Um, starting off with a apple cider donut for fall. Um, smells really good and it's it just looks so yummy <laughs> really happy with how this one turned out and it's going to be one of many fall theme soaps I've got some Halloween ones thrown in there some celestial the Brambleberry collection all of my favorite things I love fall in September you guys I can't I'm, you're gonna hear me talk about it over and over again because I'm just that excited about it there's so much to see and do and enjoy in September and I am ready. But let's get to soap making. making in my pot here I have all my oils there are seven different oils in here they are all melted down and left at room temperature there's also some coconut milk powder and some kaolin clay in there and I'm going to add to it my lye solution which is distilled water sodium hydroxide lye and sodium lactate which will harden the bar and I also added the tussa silk to it I'm really really liking the tussa silk in my recipe so adding those to my oils giving this a mix and getting everything incorporated so there's lots of browns and reds that are that are going to be in the soap the inspiration for it came from some leftover batter I had while making my last glazed donut inspired soap and I took that leftover batter and I stuck it in the little mini donut mold that I have I'll link that below but I was like what am I gonna do with these and I turned them into a fall soap by creating this design for a donut apple cider donut soap so splitting this off into three colors there is some Brambleberry Merlot Sparkle Red in this container and in the other one I have some Red Vibrance by Nurture and these colors are very very similar so I don't know how much of a contrast I'm going to get out of them but I just wanted to add some different reds in here for whatever reason I don't know <laughs> because I had them and I'm going to try mixing them in by hand first and then adding my fragrance and blending that all together. Into the big container I am going to add this bronze brown mica by Nurture and that is going to be the main base or the main soap color anyway in this design and I also have some jojoba beads that I'm going to add to just the brown bit that are from Soapbox Micas. Terry over at Soapbox Micas sent me this little sample of red jojoba beads and they are called Murder Scene. <laughs> Thought that was cute. Not really but yeah, murder scene, and I'm going to add them to the brown once I get that mixed in. I am also 
adding an embed in here, very similar to the blueberry soap that I made, the, the um, blueberry picking soap. I made a little blueberry embed for the inside of that and I thought that looked really cute and I thought, hey, why not try that more soaps? I also did one that had a watermelon embed in it. So using soap dough, I sculpted a little apple apple log to put into the soap design as well and I'll leave the I'll insert that into this video somewhere so that you can kind of get an idea of how I made it the scent I'm using hot, hot apple cider and it's let's say it smells like like apples and cinnamon but it has a little bit of a sweet note to it almost like a, an apple pie I'm going to go ahead and mix my colors in, add my fragrance, add the jojoba beads, and then we'll just start pouring. So I just split my fragrance up into these three containers. This is a Virginia Candle Supply Company scent. It says it has 1.72% Vanillin in it. Hopefully it doesn't discolor the soap too bad. That's not a very big number, but hey, you never know. And no, I did not look at the reviews. <laughs> I'm just crossing my fingers in this case. So I'm gonna stir them in, wiping down the sides to make sure all the color and all that soap is fully mixed. And then pour. I haven't quite decided how I wanted to pour yet create this design in my head, but I don't always 100% complete it until I'm in the moment. All right, mix the reds. So the embed that I made, I really wish I could film more of some of the embeds that I make for you guys, but I always find it so difficult, at least doing this by myself with the camera that I have, very difficult to get the good angle and the zoom and just, I don't know, it's, it's not easy. And every time I try to, it doesn't look the greatest. So I do my best when I can to show you guys how I do everything I do with this, these soaps, but as much as I can. All right, let's add these whole beads in here. All right, that fragrance, I don't, I don't think it wanted to be my friend. It accelerated a little bit and made it a little difficult to get into the mold, but I managed it. So now I'm gonna go ahead and start frosting the top of this. I have added some really red mica and some firecracker red mica from Nurture and mix them together trying to get that like candy apple look for this. Like I said, there's lots of browns and reds going into the soap. And it smells so good. It is so worth the trouble and frustration, you guys. I just love every single fall scent you can possibly think of. I know I say it a lot, but fall is my favorite season. There's lots to look forward to in fall. I think I look forward to fall every single year. Like, can I just live in a place of fall? I want it to be autumn every single day, please. <laughs> but one of the things that I, I'm looking most forward to are 
it's the cooler weather, the, the nicer days that I can actually go outside and not die. And I know in the winter, I'm like, I wish it was nicer out. I would want it to be hot. I need summer. And then summer gets here and I'm ready for fall. I'm always rushing along the next season. But the weather here in Maryland has just been killer. I feel like the summer is, you know, the time of the year that you take advantage of the sunny days and you get outside and you do outside activities. But here in Maryland, when it's like 90 some degrees outside and really humid and really sunny out, it really makes for a difficult day to actually even breathe, let alone move. So we keep trying to do festivals and we never stay long just because we're just dying by the like two hours in. It's not even you know, we never last the whole entire thing. We are usually out of there dripping with sweat and ready to cool down. So I think I've learned my lessons and I don't want to plan any more summer festivals anymore for July or August because it's just way too much to handle. And I kind of feel like we're wasting our money. We spent $20, which is not bad. It was a good deal. To get into the Timonium Fairgrounds, I love going there. They always have nice events that they host. But it was a food truck festival, and you think that's going to be a lot of fun. But once you get in there and you realize how hot it is, you really don't want to eat. You just don't feel like eating. Because it was in the middle of the field, no shade anywhere, and just really, really hot and no way to cool down. And I can't imagine working in those food trucks of how hot it has to be in there. So we didn't get to try too much food. Like I said, we did end up leaving early. I got a empanada, a big giant piece of bacon on a stick. <laughs> We've got some shrimp tacos that had like a pineapple salsa on it. And then I've got a ice cream that was green tea or matcha and ubi which is a purple yam and it was swirled together in a soft serve with mochi on top of it and it was delicious but it was the probably the only thing the last thing I could eat within the few hours that we were there and Bradley and I split all this but it was just so hot we couldn't manage to do it any longer and then we started watching this wrestling match they had um, it was a M Maryland Wrestling something M M it stood it stood for something MWC Wrestling I think that was it hosted by a local radio station I can't imagine being those wrestlers in the middle of that field wrestling in their uniforms that they have on the sparkly jackets and like the tights in the middle of the day when the sun is the hottest just wrestling each other and this is like that cheesy wrestling I don't know if you guys have ever been to a live wrestling show if you've been fortunate enough to go to one of those I had never ever seen wrestling before Bradley was so excited about it and I was just laughing the whole entire time I had the biggest fit of the giggles trying to watch this stuff like it was so cheesy and corny and cringy and I was just like, how are people getting into this? It's so fake. My face and my stomach hurt just from laughing so hard. <laughs> but those guys really must have toughed out that hot weather because, like I said, I couldn't have done it. It was ridiculous. To the point where I thought I had probably heat ex exhaustion. We left because I got really, really dizzy and really, really nauseous. And it was just time to go. And it kind of ruined my whole day. But yeah, anyone else here like wrestling? <laughs> I don't think I could watch it, but I know Bradley is really into it, so I'm going to have to. And I'm going to have to learn to not laugh so hard. I feel like they were filming it, and I'm in the background just dying. All right, refilling my icing bag here, putting on my donut in beds eventually. I'm also going to take some of the sea salt and put some of that brown mica in it and create like a brown sugar type of sprinkle even though it's salt it's gonna look like the, the sugar crumbles and then I have some ruby slippers glitter by soapbox micas that I'll sprinkle on top and then we'll call it a day so 
I decided I wanted to add on some leaves to hopefully make these tops look like apples. And these may get cut a little bit because these weren't piped for the soap. These were piped for a different soap and they were leftovers. So I'm going to use them on here. And I think that's going to look so cute. Just like little apples on top. I like sometimes, sometimes I like when things don't always go as planned. Like this instance here where it's like, hmm, what else could I add to this soap? Something is missing. And I look around and go, that's perfect. I can add that. Whether it's a salt or a glitter or some extra piping, some kind of botanical, whatever it is, it's nice to have these things laying around, that's for sure. I will give this a spray with a rubbing alcohol. Once I get my salts on there, I will put the glitter on there and then I will let this sit for 24 hours and I'll come back and I, I'll cut it. So stay tuned for the cutting once I'm done topping it. All right, let's see the inside. See what I got as far as a design going in there. I think it's adorable. That little apple in there is really, really cute, but you can only really see it if you look up close because of the colors that I chose kind of make it a little camouflaged in there, especially that um, stem that I did. And I didn't realize that till after I made the soap that that stem is probably going to blend in. But it's all right, because if you look up close, you can see it. Get you guys in up close. I am adored, I'm adoring this soap. It is super cute. I love the smell and the top of it and the little donut and the little apple. It's adorable. So let's see if we can get a few more cut here. Smells really, really good. I did not use too much of that fragrance because I thought it was, it was a little strong. But the smell is still there. It smells like spiced apple. <laughs> and it's got so many fall vibes going on. I am so happy with this soap and the fact that it's my first fall soap of the summer. <laughs> Filling my house with the smell of cinnamon apple and has me really excited for cooler weather like I said because the festivals in the fall are going to be so much better it's going to be so much more fun to stay outside there's a farm down the street from us that specializes in apples and they have an apple festival every year and you have to go there and get the apple cider donuts and the freshly made apple cider. They sell it hot and they sell it like a slushy. So that is what I am looking forward to. All the apple, all the pumpkin, all the pretty colors. I am ready to just keep going with these fall scents. All right. Happy, happy, happy. Love it. <laughs> Thank you so much guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. This soap will be available on September 27th. I can remember that date fairly easily this time. <laughs> it is quite a significant date. It is my birthday and it will have a soap release on that day. So if you want one of these, that is when you can get it. Cut one more for you. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give me a big ol' thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Any questions or comments, you can leave them for me in the comment section down below. And until next time, I hope you all have a very nice day. 
and I will smell you later.